episode six. So I already have the tool that I already owned for a while, picked out already. And then pan over here real quick, pick a tool from the box, uh, just off the top. And there's a two part to this. Yep, two parts of this. Um, two new cases uh, and three new boxes. So one, two, three. They're all good stuff. I might end up knocking all this stuff out tomorrow just because uh, I won't be around for a few days. Um, so we'll see if I knock it out or I'll wait till I get back to, to get that stuff done. Uh, either way, uh, we'll just head back over this direction here. Um, shaky graphics. Got a lot of these uh, things down. All right, so I don't know where I actually saw this. Maybe it was on someone else's video or uh, just, you know, casually browsing. But this is an AST uh, ball joint hammer nut made in Taiwan. Um, it's a 12 by 1.5 and it's a TM 1215. Uh, it came as a singleton. Uh, and basically what this is, is just, you know, most people will take a uh, removing like ball joints and stuff. They'll, uh, you know, kind of use a hammer to hit the the frame of it. Um, obviously, can't really do that with aluminum stuff, which all my cars are steel as it is. Uh, so this basically allows you to thread it on the remove the the castle nut off the ball joint. Uh, castle, nut, castle nut and uh, the lock pin. Um, remove that stuff, thread the appropriate size on there. And I say appropriate size because there's a kit that has four, including this size in there. So this is kind of redundant, doubled up at this point. Uh, let's get this back in focus. Never mind. There we go. She was about to focus for a second there. Yeah, so um, yeah, no warranty on this. Uh, what else is on here? There you go, AST TM12. I imagine that's the manufacturer date for um, 19. Obviously wear some eye protection, so yeah, that's all on there. So here's the, the deal. Uh, those ball joints, remove the castle nut, the lock pin, and uh, use their purpose size, thread it on there. Instead of using a, a hammer to knot the, the frame itself, uh, use, a, uh, use one of these, and then if you do have an air hammer, use a appropriate size air hammer bit. I'm trying to tap this thing. Yeah, use an appropriate air, um, air hammer bit. As you can see, the the indentation in there, if you use the appropriate size bit, that's gonna allow you to just, you know, one, two, um, one, one, two pull of the trigger on the air hammer is gonna allow this thing to pop right out. Uh, and that's if you have an air hammer um, compressor available to you. It's super cool. I know there are several means to remove in um, ball joints, pickle forks, uh, other ball joints, um, separators. And then here's the complete set. Um, so, let's see if I can get rid of that uh, reflection. <clears throat> so, hold up. I think it's that light. Yeah, so it might get a little bit darker, I guess. But at least a glare. -ish. Anyway, so that's the part number. TM. 201194 is what they're advertising. Uh, hammer nuts by AST. So you get a 12 by 1.25, 12 by 1.5, 14 by 1.5, and 16 by 1.5. Um, just comes in this little plastic case. Uh, mine came, this is normally I throw away cases like this, but it's such a small, neat case. Um, I just kind of removed the staplers and uh kept it in here and it fits perfectly in the box it has a space i don't know where they're at but this is what you get 
Um, like I said, you just thread it on there and then use your air hammer to remove that uh, ball, ball joint. And then, yeah, obviously, like I said, no warranty is implied. Actually, so that was that one. Yeah, so no warranty is implied on any of them. And if we compare, I'm gonna compare the two sizes that I have and see if they're like, the same. these are the, should be the same. I'll we'll flip it over. See the dates are, the dates are different. So this is the one that came as a singleton and this came to a set. So yeah, that's the, that's the idea there. Pretty cool snazzy set. Slide it back over it. I always think it's goofy when I see people with you know plastic over their their uh, sockets and stuff, and I was like, well, I guess I'm one of those goofballs now. Anyway, leave that as is. We'll just throw this back in the package so I don't lose it. All right, here's a here's a new item. Relatively new, actually. New to me, that is. I'm not sure if it's new to, you know, if it's just been out for a while, but uh, made in Japan. There you go. Uh, you see the ends of them, Allen keys. These are the sizes that you get. And I think I just messed it up. Yep. There you go. Those are the sizes uh, made by Wise. I would say this is a pretty wise purchase. Um, SBL-1000. Uh, a little bit of more Japanese. So here's a picture that's showcasing what I wanna highlight, which I'll show you here in a second. There you go. Anyway, let's uh, let's look at what I like about this stuff. Hey, granted, I haven't I haven't used these, so it might just be complete garbage. But they did have good reviews, and I did get these from Amazon. Um, these I've had these for a while. It definitely wasn't an Amazon purchase. But these were definitely Amazon purchase. So were these. In case I failed to mention that. So I already showed you the sizes. Um, they actually refer to this as the Wise Super Ball Wrench. And it says something, oh, it just says Japan. There you go. Those are the sizes. Uh, anyway, here's a neat, here's a cool part. You get this, uh, this handle or extension or something. Um, you got a open end right here, and then you got this crossroad T intersection type deal. That's what it looks like. That's what it looks like. So if we take the largest, the 10, and like I said, these are ball on one end, um, and they're color coded, as you can see. Um, much like the Wera, Wera. So yeah, they're color coded. Uh, and then they're just a uh, regular on the next, the 90 degree. So here's a cool thing that I, why I pick these up. And honestly, most times that I'm using an Allen wrench, Allen key, it's usually one of those ones that come in the whatever kit that I purchase. And I have, I mean, I have the T ones. Um, I have the Tecton, you know, the ones that you just throw in a socket, whatever. But these are cool. So here's why. If you ever find yourself in that, random angle you can just and these are all these at least this direction on this side so this cross direction is slide through the next one is is not so you got this long extension um if this is if this is how you want it to work you got this really long leverage obviously chances are with this type of leverage you might end up stripping something out but you do have a lot of room to play with. And then you got these 
awkward angles that you can play with. So if I need to go push or pull, you know, I, I have that option. I don't have to be relying on putting my hand down there. I got this option. If I do have the room, that is. Um, uh, and then vice versa, you know, you can, you could do, do this angle. So, you know, the, the world is yours. Kind of just get it in there, get it done. That's what I like about these. Actually, yeah, this end, this open end doesn't really do anything unless it's for the smaller ones. Yeah. So I'm pretty sure the smaller ones would fit in there just fine. Oh, there you go. I mean, if you needed to pass it, pass it all the way through here, that's an option because it doesn't go all the way through here. So yeah, the smaller end would be more appropriate for the smaller sizes. But yeah, I think this is a pretty nifty set, to be honest. And then obviously comes in this little plastic carrying storage tray. And then this right here has a little rubber or hard plastic, if I, if I had to say so, hard plastic. Sorry if that wasn't focused for a minute there. And it just kind of snaps in here as a little uh, holder, it just snaps in there. And it stays there, it doesn't, it doesn't fall out. It's uh, well retained, obviously with usage, it could, see it has a neural neural on there. I, I've been butchering that word ever since I've, first time I've said it. Uh, Neuralin, but anyway, yeah, it looks pretty nice. I'm not gonna lie. So we'll tie that up with, um, and this is was this JIS? Uh, no, it's always the case where my battery's dying. Uh, let's see. So again, not a made in Japan. Um, this is again vessel. So you got the wise vessel. Um, train here, made in Japan, uh, JIS, um, screwdriver bits, basically. So, Japan import, what does it say? Looking for sizes, anyway, you can see what's in there. Looks like it has like a number four, number three, number two, and like a something else in there. Actually, there, there we go. The sizes are up top. So this is what you get. So. Small uh, tool drag, tool haul, but very effective. Um, I, I do like this, like this is something that I can, I can get with, I can just grab and go. I don't have any of the Wera ones, um, but I do want to pick up the stubby ones from Wera, um, since I have these long ones right now. But anyway, like I said, we might, uh, I might, say we, I might just uh, knock this out tomorrow. Um, this set I got on Super, Super good deal. Um, it's actually an eBay purchase. Uh, I've been eyeing it for a while and it's just, these, these two kits by themselves are uh, pretty uh, snazzy as far as price, but then combined on eBay, it was, a, it was a steal, which I don't usually think stuff is a steal, but when you're saving, as far, I know there's like everything has gone up in price as far as Everything just has gone up in price. I mean, literally. Um, but when you're saving over a thousand dollars, and you know, I am, I, I would advertise that. Yeah, I got a good deal. <clears throat> but anyway, we'll see how I wake up and I feel. I got a lot of stuff to do in the morning, um, so we'll get to that. Like I said, uh, Wise Vessel and AST tonight. Anyway, let me always say, like on Don't Hit 18.